Hello, Internet, and welcome to Sunday. So, you know I was doing the, uh, the cover stuff yesterday. I ended up having to print out a cover for a 3DS game today. Um, it was a little bit more awkward than the normal DVD case sizes, but it still ended up coming out pretty good, in my opinion. Um, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. Today I was going around and looking for alternatives to uh, just leaving your loose cartridges for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance laying around. And I ended up coming across a Reddit post which sent me to an imager thread which sent me to a blogspot post from back in like 2014, I believe it was. And it resulted in this. And what this is, is a custom printed case, or a custom printed slip for what was originally an old audio cassette tape. And I did some printing, had Joe uh, Dremel the, uh, the, I guess they're called pegs or something, I'm not 100% sure, but it ended up resulting in this. Which, in my opinion, looks pretty nice. And better than having just loose cartridges and having, um, or even the cardboard boxes, really. If they came in this originally, it would have looked really great, in my opinion. But they came in their original cardboard boxes, and a lot of people just didn't take good care of their original cardboard boxes. So, that's kind of disappointing. Um, I know I'm going to start putting these into the cassette things as I can. I'm going to order a pack of them sometime in the near future. Uh, I counted how many I needed and it wasn't too many. So I'll be able to set up all my stuff fairly easily. Um, but I still need to get my hands on some legal size paper. Which are a little bit bigger than standard copy paper. So, because the, um, the universal game cases that Conkers came in, they're, they need the legal size paper to print correctly. I tried to print out a vertical version of that case, and it didn't come out very well because the normal size copy paper is just too small and ends up cutting it off, which... Even if it's for your personal collection, like mine, I kind of want it to look decent, so I'd rather have it be just done properly. So I need to go get some legal paper, which I'm sure I could find online easily. I just have to go get some. So, yeah, I'm very happy with those Game Boy cassette cases. And I had a back and forth with Ben about it, because he didn't believe that, uh, he believed that you had to hollow it out completely, but no, you don't. And I took a picture and showed him that you only really need to remove one peg. So, whatever. Anyway, that's it for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one, and I'll see you tomorrow.